Now, let's give some attention uh, to health matters. The annual Mental Health Awareness, uh, Awareness Week ends today. It is an annual global event targeted at ra raising awareness on the importance of a balanced mental health for creative and evidence-based solutions in communities. Uh, for more enlightening, enlightening on mental health and how mental challenges can be uh, prevented, the founder and lead Origami Society Nigeria, Oluwa Tobi Shodimu, joins me uh, virtually from Lagos. Thank you so much for joining us on World Now. Uh, what do you think, uh, how would you describe the, uh, the way mental challenges or mental health problems manifest? Um, thank you for having me. Uh, again, my name is Oluwa Tobi Shodimu. Uh, in terms of uh, manifestation, uh, I think that... Uh, it is more than what we see or what is amplified uh, while we were growing up. We think that it is the chronic uh, illnesses when people uh, take their clothes off and all of that. Uh, mental health uh, uh, disorders manifest in ways more than that. For example, the theme of this year is anxiety. We all experience a form of anxiety or the other. We worry at some point or the other due to work stress, uh, our lives, family, and all of those things are, uh, has a result, uh, they are as a result of what we go through every day. And they have a way of affecting our productivity every day as well. So everything encompasses mental health, in fact. So what are the roles better, you know, the, 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 those roles better funding can play in aiding effective treatment of mental health? Uh, the truth of the matter is looking at uh, uh, countries that are well developed than us, um, you know, they have uh, professionals all over the place that um, are tackling uh, mental health and the people are also uh, well informed about it. Uh, in our climb, for example, in Nigeria, we have very negligible number of professionals and the number of professionals that we have also uh, you know, uh, very, uh, they are very expensive to, to go by. So I think it all starts from policies, government. If the government can prioritize uh, taking mental health seriously, I know that um, we are one step ahead because uh, the uh, our policy for mental health has just been adopted uh, by, signed by President Mohamed Jokwari, you know, to sign new policies in, in place to ensure that mental health is taken seriously. And there are so many laws under that policy. So I think that's the way to start, you know, where government is actually really interested in the mental health of the people. You know, another way is, you know, looking around and looking within. And that is where uh, we call it. Because like I said, it can be really expensive to reach out to some of these very uh, uh, expensive uh, professionals who are not even so much. So um, uh, what we do, uh, the Japanese art of origami, you know, is what we all did in elementary school, you know, just picking a piece of paper and folding it. All of as small as it, as it is, it can be very, very uh, good to improve mental health. You, you know, um, we folded paper planes and uh, boats then, but there are many things that can be done, like what I have and this. But in the, uh, in our organization, what we do basically is try to help people. You know how to how they can know that just a piece of paper can actually improve their mental health. Just yeah. folding a paper a day. Can improve their mental health. Right. So I was in a class yesterday where mental health issues are, were discussed, and someone asked the question Can money solve problems so as not to have mental health challenges? And the lecturer said, Yes. So, in what way do you think places like organizations, because it doesn't really have to be the government, uh, organizations can help their staff members to have good mental, mental health uh, you know, care? Absolutely. I absolutely agree. Um, I think that, again, in developed nations, uh, the, the companies, they prioritize mental health a lot because they know that they have to spend more on their staffs if they go down as a result of uh, mental health issues. So they prioritize just like uh, they take care of their uh, physical needs and give them uh, certain uh, things to make them happy and motivate them. The mental health is also a priority. And there are interventions, uh, such as origami that I mentioned, mm -hmm. uh, art therapy that they do for the staff just to ensure that rather than spending that much money in the future, it's more like a preventive uh, medicine mechanism, you know, constantly. Because they have to go through this stress, work stress, you know, there are targets that they have to meet, their deadlines all of the time. So um, prevention is always better than cure. So uh, like I said, folding a paper a day can be uh, a form of intervention that would improve mental health 
you know, far, far than, uh, you know, not just doing anything. So mm -hmm. I, I think that's one of the ways. I think it's very important people begin to pay more attention, just like you advocated, to their mental health. Thank you very kindly. Uh, founder and lead of Rigami Society in Nigeria, Oluwa Tobi Shodimo, thank you so much for your keenness of insight. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it.